Hey, figure skaters. I want to have a real talk with all of you today about being in the zone. What exactly is being in the zone? I know many of us have heard the term used before. Some of us may have even found ourselves being in the zone. In the competitive setting, that's typically where you hear about it. So whether you're an athlete or specifically a figure skater, if you've found that zone before, you know that it's a tunnel vision. It's blinders on. It is staying in that exact moment, lost in the process of exactly what you are doing. It's not looking forward to the next step. It's not looking behind us at what we've already done, okay? It's being present in that exact moment, all right? So now, how do we get there more often and consistently when it matters the most to us in competition settings? Well, I'm about to give you a four-step process in order to push you towards your goals of achieving your, your best on those game days. All right, so, but before I do, I wanna provide some facts. According to Huffington Post, 50 to 70,000 thoughts go through our head per day. Now that's a lot of thoughts, right? So now if I break it down further, it's 35 to 48 thoughts per minute per person. Again, that's quite a few thoughts coming through. All right, so now how do we control our thoughts and then minimize some of those thoughts? Well, here we go. I'm gonna provide four steps on how to get there. Step one is acknowledge. Acknowledge the chatter, the noise, all the different things that we tell ourselves, okay? The self-talk, okay? It's important to recognize that it is there, okay? And it's not bad that it's there, I just want you to be aware of what you're telling yourself, okay? All right, so step one is to acknowledge. Step two is to reframe, all right? So now, if we are focused on negativity, for example, I want you to focus on bringing more light, being more positive about the circumstance, okay? Now, not, not everything's gonna go exactly as planned, Okay, but it's important to move on from the mistake and get back to the present moment, okay? And it is important to know what your goals are, work towards it in a positive light, okay? So step two is to reframe. Step three is to refocus. So how often are we looking ahead to that double flip in our program where we're four crossovers away, right? I know I've been guilty of that, all right? And that anticipation of getting there before you've gotten there leads to a little anxiety and then that can affect the jump, right? Whereas another way to do it is to go ahead and stay in each crossover that you're doing and then focus on your muscle memory. That stuff that you do in your training all that physical body of work, all that preparation, that's where you key in on that. Trust in that, all right? So that one thing that works for you, remember that, not a thousand things going through your head, all right? So that's refocus. Now, another example, uh, as I was uh, formerly a competitive fi figure skater, uh, when I had my best performances on uh, big stages, how did I deliver that? Well, I was in the zone. I was prepared physically and mentally, right? So when I was in the zone, okay, uh, I was there most of the time. Now, I didn't have too many thoughts coming through. Now that said, there were a couple times a few thoughts drifted through my mind. Like for example, oh my God, I'm skating clean. I got one jump to go and I got this. Now, how often have we told ourselves that, right? All right, so here's the important thing to recognize. I toned it down. I realized it as soon as I thought it, all right? And then I brought myself back to my breath, back to the moment, back to my crossover, okay? Because as enthusiastic as I was and I was excited, okay? I'm not saying don't get excited at the end. But in that moment, I realized I needed to get back to my crossover if I was gonna do that next element and focus on my muscle memory to deliver that last jump.
right? So I did that and then achieved my best because I changed and refocused my thought process, all right? So that's step three, is refocus. Step four, execute. Everyone has a picture of where they want to be. Now, how do we get there where we're delivering our best on game day, on that competition day, and consistently? You need to have a path to get there. You need to have goals. Okay, you put all this work into the physical body of work, okay? Jumps, spins, footwork, running your programs, okay? All that is necessary. You have got to do that. Work hard, work smart, okay? That is super important. But just as important is training the mental side every single day. I provided a video before, a few days ago, that talked about visualization and meditation, all right? I definitely highly suggest doing that uh, to help get you into the moment more often, okay? So uh, now you're gonna take that day-to-day -day and that's gonna eventually work to the one, two, five, 10-year plan. But in order to get there, you have got to have the day-to-day -day goals set, okay? So what I'm gonna suggest is that you talk to your coach about that. You know, you wanna figure out what that noise is, what the chatter, what the self-talk is going through your head, okay? And then you wanna figure out a plan on how to uh, get yourself in the right state of mind to deliver your best consistently. So another piece, in addition to talking to your coach about it, is also considering a sports psychologist. So those are two pieces to help you set that landscape. All right. So uh, my views on all this uh, come from my own personal experiences, um, as well as, uh, and that's, uh, you know, as an athlete, um, you know, and then uh, also as a coach in talking to some of my skaters as well. Um, so, but definitely get with your coach and uh, potentially a sports psychologist to help you with navigate all of that. Right? Because I do want to see each and every one of you bring your best, unlock your potential. In order to do that, these four step steps, I believe, will help you greatly. All right, So give this a try. Let me know how it goes. Drop a yes in the, in the comments if you found this video helpful. And uh, please be sure to share this with your skating friends and anyone that might benefit. Thank you so much, you guys. Let's go ahead and crush the rest of this week.